If you want a simple and reliable way to organise your year and work towards your goals, then you're in the right place. Because throughout my undergrad and postgraduate degrees and now at med school, I've been using Notion in a very simple way to organise and work towards my personal and academic goals. So I'll show you exactly how I do this using the landscape system. And Notion are kindly sponsoring this video, so click the link in the description to join Notion for free. And join me as I go through how to organise your life and track your goals using free templates. So the first thing I use Notion for is to track my goals. When I use my laptop or phone in the morning, I open my landing page to track my objectives and see the things I regularly use like my calendar all in one space. And I keep it simple because what works in the long term are simple systems. So I only set three key goals for the year on Notion, each one covering a different aspect of my academic or personal life. And if you're not sure of your goals, use this free template to rank important things in your life and what you want to improve on the most. And anything new you can easily add with a single click. From mine you can see that I only focus on things that I can do, not things I can't control. So a goal would never be to reach 100,000 subs this year. By having goals that depend on actions within your control, you can set key steps to do in the days or the weeks. And that's how I can list on a smaller scale what needs to be done on the journey towards the goals. And Notion's been perfect for this. Because it's like a personal website where all the details you need are presented in an organised and aesthetic way. And this simple format makes it a low effort way to keep track of them. Because it's easy to follow. So you can see I have my weekly goals and they work directly towards my objectives for the year. And it's broken down more in the daily objectives table. So throughout the day I tick what I've done and I use Notion AI to count them so I can quickly see if I've met my weekly target. And something I didn't know until recently was that you can automate things like these templates with a click of a button, saving you from making it every week. And because I like seeing my progress, I place the old tables in a separate page to keep track because I reflect on how I can improve or maintain what I'm doing. And Notion makes it easy to create pages and link the data together. And I'm sure I'm using Notion in one of the most simple ways, but I know you can imagine how much more you can do. So before the next part, click the link in the description to join Notion for free and download the free templates to start filling out your landing page. So we've seen what the goals are and how to get there, but there's still more to what keeps you on track throughout the year. So I use Notion to track these important details and those are my habits. Because almost everything depends on habits, like how long you stay in bed after waking up, how often you exercise, the food you eat, and even how you close an app and open it again right after. So your habits directly affect productivity. And since I track my habits throughout the day, I have a shortcut on my landing page. And this isn't very aesthetic and I know there are templates that look a lot better. But as a student, I need to be flexible instead of following a strict routine like getting to bed by 11pm and waking up by 6am. So whenever I do something, I write it down in the tracker and look for patterns of good or bad habits no matter how small. For example, in the past, I noticed how after I got through a task, I'd go on my phone for no reason. But typing that made me conscious of those bad habits so that I could stop them. Like if I compare my habits from over a year ago, keeping track of bad habits made me careful to avoid them and that led to healthier habits. And again, the automation creates a template for me and it's very easy to edit and change things. And if you get the Notion AI plan, you get access to Notion AI and more recently, the Notion assistant called Notion Q&A. And I've used them to generate databases for me so that I can visualise the progress I've made. And it's useful for a lot of other tasks too, which I'll get to in the next section. So I've gone through tracking habits for productivity and working towards your goals. But how can Notion be used for school and university? So the two main ways I use it for med school is for taking notes and working with friends. And for me, a lot of the benefit of Notion for med school comes from how easy it is to navigate and collaborate with other people, making med school a lot less complicated than it already is. Like for note taking, I still keep it simple. I'd listen to the lectures and type anything important, then I'd make questions on them. And to save more time, I use Notion AI to make the questions and answers for me, so that I spend more time on actually studying. And because you can share pages and whole workspaces with other people, you can take notes in real time with your friends or work on assignments together. And I found this especially useful for dividing different topics with friends to save each other time. And with the Notion assistant, Notion Q&A, I'd ask it to find my notes for me and summarise them. So if I haven't read a topic in a while, I can get a summary that's a lot more efficient than checking online, since my notes are organised specifically for my course. So for Notion Q&A and the AI benefits, upgrade your free Notion plan to Notion AI for just $10 a month. And look, that's literally less than $3 a week and I'm sure a lot more is spent on coffee or takeaway food. 
and Notion AI is just a better way to use the money, so follow the links in the description. And now for YouTube, I do everything on Notion. And something that can help you at school or uni, that helps me view videos all in one place, whether they're planned, completed, or even ideas you suggest, is being able to switch formats. Because whenever I finish one part of a video, I easily track the progress on this single page, and see what I've got left to do thanks to this format. And for school or uni, you can track different topics you need to cover, or course or assignments that you have to get done. And because it's all in one place, everything's well connected, so you can stay on top of all the moving parts in your life without missing details. So organising your goals can help you figure out the steps you need to take to get there. And Notion makes this process effortless, so click the link in the description to sign up Notion for free. But another problem is that people don't have good time management to do what's important. So in this video here, I talk about how I manage time so that I can study, but still go to the gym, practice piano, make videos and do more. And you can do the same by watching the video. 